Hey folks, how you doing? This is Mahesh. So, if you're wondering which of these top three media players is the best for your PC, you come to the right video. VLC, MPC, or PAN? Let's find out. So straight off the bat, VLC has no dark mode. And I cannot find any easy way to enable dark mode. So that's a huge turn off for me. Might be a non-issue for you though. So I threw every video I had at it and it played everything like a champ except the Opus Audio track on this AV1 file. So it doesn't play Opus Audio. Maybe it needs some codec download or whatnot. But as it is, it cannot play. Also I might add none of these players can play Blu-ray movie discs. Cause they haven't got the built-in decoder software for it. If you wanna play Blu-rays, try Power DVD or something like that. VL VLC has 3D options, but they're limited to anaglyph and not easy to enable. You have to really dig into the settings to find them. But once enabled, they look great with a pair of these cheap 3D glasses. Also, it has no pixel shaders, unlike the other two on this list here. So can I get the rich blacks for the video? VLC also lacks the ability to shut down your PC after playback is finished, which is useful if you like watching movies at night before going to bed. This is a big loss for me, MPC and PART has this feature. However, it uses up the least power when playing the same video file as the other two, and also has the lowest RAM usage, if that kind of thing concerns you. Also, it automatically tone maps HDR videos for non-HDR displays, so you don't get that washed out colors. On the other two, you have to manually enable this. And unlike the other two, this has a video conversion feature, which is pretty neat. I had never used it before, but I tried it for this review, and it seems fairly decent. So on to Pot Player. I had never used this till recently, and I'm pretty impressed by it. It plays anything, yes, even the Opus Audio track. It has tons of 3D options and even 360 degree video support and you can easily enable them with the right click menu. This is the only player out of these that has native support for 360 videos. It just auto detects them and plays. However the UI is complex which can get a bit daunting. Just to do something simple as setting player to shut down PC after playback is a chore. Unlike MPC where you just right click and bam. Also, it doesn't help, there are no pop-up tooltips for all the options. Unlike VLC and MPC which have these useful little pop-ups explaining what each setting does. So yeah, not too user-friendly is what I'm saying. I had to do some tweaking before I got it running just the way I wanted it. Also, it has the slowest startup time of all three players tested here. HDR tour map and pixel shaders are available and it uses slightly more resources than VLC. And finally, onto MPC Black Edition. This is the one I've been using like forever. It's got sleek black looks and the UI is fairly easy to understand. And it plays anything I throw at it. It's got a lot of 3D options, however I cannot see anaglyph in there. So can't use 3D glasses with your monitor with this. It also has pixel shaders and HDR tone mapping. However, this can only be enabled using the settings on the built-in MadVR plugin. But once enabled, it applies automatically to all HDR videos. And this also starts up the fastest. Yeah, so startup speed is almost instant. So which is the best? Seriously, you cannot go wrong with any of these. When it comes to image quality, they all look about the same. But for me, I prefer MPC Black Edition. It's fast and easy and I'm used to it. However, it does use the most amount of resources out of all of these. VLC is great if you like its video convert features and low resource usage. Pot Player is good if you like all its deep customization features. And if you watch a lot of downloaded 360 videos, it's perfect. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon, baby.